Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play WarioWare Smooth Moves. I am Mega Freak 400, and today we'll be doing Jimmy T stage. Now, Jimmy T stage is actually a mix-up of all the uh, micro games we've played so far, or rather, all the ones you can find in the stages we've played thus far. Um, I think Warriors as well, but definitely Cat, Anna's, Young Crickets, and Mona's. I love Jimmy T. But yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have his own set of micro games. But anyway, um, the other thing that's interesting about this stage is all of the micro games, I believe, are set on um, second hard level as opposed to first, like most of the other ones. So um, even though these are games you've seen before, micro games you've seen before, they'll be a little bit harder than uh, you're used to or that you saw in the first uh, time. There'll be some differences, basically. Anyway, Cat. And Jimmy, being a nice fellow, gives him an umbrella. And this is honestly one of my favorite um, parts of the game. It's it's just it's silly, and you know to maybe to an extent people it's a little overrated overrated now, but I don't know. I still it's cute. So yes, dancing cats, dude. <laughs> I I just love this. It's not really I can't really say anything. It's just fun. I've always been more of a dog person, but, you know, I, I wouldn't mind a cat. I wouldn't mind a bunny, actually. A bunny would be good. So, yes, time for, um, smooth moves. Yeah, see, like, in this one, uh, his, it, the barrel actually moves a bit in the upgraded version. Okay, I, uh, dancing cats are distracting me. Focus! Okay, wait, slow. Okay. I always, sometimes I, when that one, I just, like, jump the drink on his face. Come on. Which is funny that you dump the drink on his face, but it obviously doesn't help you in winning the game. Okay, what's this one? Oh. You're a panda now. I love the noise he makes if you fail. It's, it's, that, it's a funny noise. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, of course I'll go faster. Okay, this one isn't too tricky. No, I'm... Okay, now I still have time. That one didn't really seem that harder, actually. It seemed almost easier, maybe. Or about the same as the... Or maybe some of them. No, I think they're all. I think they're all set in second level. Maybe they just one wasn't that hard. Oh no! Ah, no uh, I, uh, damn it! The Wiimote wasn't responding, and I just kind of freaked out. I always do that, and a lot of things I do that reaction thing where, especially in like platformers, I'll jump, make the jump, but think I didn't make it, so I'll screw myself over by jumping again. Okay, handlebar. That one's, that one's pretty easy. No, ah, no, wait. Okay, go. Yes. Elephant. Well, there's only one game with the elephant we've had so far, so it's pretty obvious what that was. The elephant's so underused. Chauffeur. Okay, wait. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we don't have Warrior Wear or Wario's games. Maybe it is just Mona's and uh Cat and Cat Anna's and uh you know, Cricket. Anyway, oh, okay, this boss is easy. I'm not really sure what boss they could have picked that would have been hard for me. Not only really any of them actually. Of the ones we've had so far. Maybe young cricket on a hard level, possibly, but I don't know, not even then. Oh, wow. <laughs> I say as I almost crash into monkeys. Okay, focus. There we go. Yeah. I am a master of driving. Okay, not really. I am actually not a master of driving. I am a master of crashing. No. I actually... Otherwise, that one time. But anyway, more days than cats, because that's what people want to see. 
This is the thing where the, the limited animation of them not having any facial expression actually adds the charm of this, because if it feels like they had too much movement, I don't know. I just, I like the static, or static, is that the word? But I love just the blank look on their face. The little cute, just look at me, I'm a cat face. This is my goal in life, to buy a cat and teach it to dance disco. It should be everyone's goal. And if it isn't, I don't know what you're doing with your life, because you're not doing awesomeness. Okay. So the cats are now all leaving. But what's this? Aw, he's giving him back his umbrella. And, and participating in a kind of creepy scene. So yeah, that's Jimmy T's stage. Just a mix-up of stages. And now we open three more. Uh, Ashley, who, I, who you probably all know because of her theme song. Uh, Dribble and Spitz, who were absent, I believe, from the DS version, uh, DS game, but they are back for this game. And a new character, uh, Penny Krygor, who is the granddaughter of um, Dr. Krygor, I believe. But, uh, yeah, Ashley, we will do that stage next, simply because it was the first one to appear. And I, I do like Ashley, and I love, the, actually, I do like this animation for, or, or not, well, animation technically, but I love this cutscene for whatever reason. I don't know, I just, it, it's cool, I like the music, it's... I kind of wish we got more backstory on all of these characters, actually, I know they're just, they're more there just to kind of be goofy, and then focus on the micro games. but... I don't know, I wouldn't mind... Not a serious thing, but I can almost see a TV show with these guys, or a TV type, not TV show, but a type of kind of, I don't know, more expanded story on these characters and their goofy adventures. Now last time, and I think the touch, she wanted Orbulon, who is the alien of the series, to make a uh, potion with. Here, and her assistant, uh, the little red guy, I think he's, is it red? I think he's just red, but can turn to a wand. But here she's trying to make a, uh, leaf plant to grow. And technically she succeeds, but, uh, yeah. She is not a, uh, yeah, she likes dark things, because she's Ashley. She's the meanest girl you'll, uh, you'll ever meet. And this spell book is going to help us in our quest. Okay, now since we didn't actually learn any moves last time because Jimmy T's was all moves we are to learn, we will finally get to learn some new moves in this, um, or new forms in this, uh, level. Which would be cool. Like this one. The thumb wrestler. Hold the form baton vertically and rest your thumb on the top of it. The noblest of athletes. The Thumb Wrestler enters years of training before mastering this pose. Now this one is actually pretty cool because of some of the things they do with it. Actually, all of the Ashley ones and Ashley's. Like here, when you let go of the um, sensor thing, that's when it triggers the spray ball. So I kind of like how they do they do it with that. Um, and there's another move we'll learn that has another s sort of cool... Um, one of the cool little small things to it, anyway. The Discard. Place the form baton face down on a stable surface, like an unwanted, but still treasured, playing card. Do not touch the form baton again, until the proper time. Now here, yeah, this is the one. That's right. Basically, when you pick up the pick up the uh, Wiimote and you listen to it, the um, speaker will actually play the message. Now, you heard the message here because I have it, my Wiimote turned off so you guys can hear that better. But um, it, it's cool how you could, it, you know, you pick it up and it's kind of like a phone because you can actually hear it. So that's a small little tidbit, t touch, uh, small touch that they added that I liked for some of the micro games. Perfect. And can shooting. Some of these are really easy. Some of them are tricky, actually. Oh, new move. The big cheese. With the form baton at your hip, force your chest and hips forward. This dance honors the CEO, unsung hero standing proud on the backs of his employees. And this one can be a little tricky for me because I'm sitting down, so I had to be careful with how I. Okay. Doing. Yeah, I did pretty good. Um, but because I'm not standing up, it can be kind of tricky to actually perform that one correctly in the actual position. 
do, 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 discard. Okay, this one I... Okay. Yeah, that one I sometimes jump the gun on because, you know, I'm impatient on some things like that, but... I'm not really impatient, I have a bad reaction sense sometimes. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Okay, good. That one wasn't too bad. Yeah, see, I, I like it. Some of the I, Ashley's mini micro games, like ready clock. Or, that's not a crock. It's a clock. Yeah. Uh, oh, I screwed up. Not sure how I screwed up. Actually, I thought I draw, drew at the right time, but whatever. Oh, wait, no. Damn it! What? How are you supposed to act? Wait, how are you even supposed to do that accurately? Just. Pick it up quickly or something? I don't know. Anyway, more discards. Welcome. Hello. Okay, wait, this one actually seems easy. You just gotta get the timing right. That's a horrible burger. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm assuming on the harder versions it gets more tricky. I think if you don't pick it up in time it gets ruined or something. And yay! And now she, I guess, learned a new spell from him somehow by doing my. I don't really get how micro games impact any of the story, but whatever. It's something for us to do. And she made a giant plant. That plant looks familiar for some reason. Feed me, Seymour. He's a snake tongue or something. And of course, Ashley is happy. So, uh, thanks for joining me for, um, this episode of Warrior Wear Smooth Moves, and by doing that, Sage, we actually unlock Can Shooter. See you guys next time.